God, in alliance with those humble and obedient, seeks to advance his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Top of the morning to you. When we read 2 Peter chapter 1 with the eyes of love and a firm determination to get to know God better, we learn that thanks to God's power, we have all things necessary for a life of godliness. In His glory and excellence, God has given us His precious and exceeding great promises for the purpose of helping us escape the moral decay of the world caused by lust and greed. We also get to share in God's divine nature, verse 4. All we have to do is add our due diligence, giving full effort to exercising our faith, and we will develop qualities that will help us be active and fruitful. Things like excellence, knowledge, self-control, patience, godliness, brotherly affection, and Christian love, verse 5. If we choose not to develop these qualities, verse 9 says that we will be blind and short-sighted and oblivious to the fact that our sins have been forgiven. If we look to this to strengthen these qualities within us, we will not be prone to stumbling or falling, verse 10. Our faithfulness will also get us access to the kingdom of God. Peter realizes we as believers need to be constantly reminded in order to keep these things in the forefront of our memories and not forget, which enables us to keep firm in the truth. He assures us he's not just teaching us mythical stories. Verse 16 says, We taught you about the power and coming of Jesus as eyewitnesses of his majesty. In other words, Peter was there when God's glory cloud fell, uh, fell on Jesus and the mountain, declaring, This is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. Peter urges us to heed the teaching, heed this teaching as it will be a shining lamp like the morning star rising in our hearts. Peter reminds us prophecy from Scripture is spoken by God through people as moved by the Holy Spirit. A word of encouragement, God has worked out a partnership between Him and believers on earth. He supplies the power and means to get His will accomplished. We become willing vessels for Him to work through. The more well-oiled and empty we make our vessel through humility and obedience, the more fruitful we will become for the kingdom of God here on earth. After all, the kingdom of God is within us, Luke 17, 21. Have a great day.